So I was asked uh, to by Luna Corva to do a little bit of a retrospective viewing of a scene. I decided to make it two scenes. Uh, the scene he asked me to do was uh, CSI Gatlas, as uh, I've heard, as it's been come to call, come to be called in the fan server, where Jalron goes through Eleanor's uh, crime murder scene with the knowledge that it was now Nora, and then I decide to add on, after I do that scene, I'm going to go do, also do, uh, the scene where Nora explains her backstory to Jalaram to see if there's any big, uh, obvious hints that I should have caught that she was Valnery's kid, and I did come more prepared than I have been for my past reactions. I... Have my dagger in case of salt, and since we're dealing with Nora, I have my penny in case of feels. Uh, I don't have my hat. I think I left it in the other. Oh, well, this one will do. All right. So, getting started with the. See us like Atlas bit and three, two, one, start. I'm sorry, that's the best I can do. That's fine. That's fine. So all right, all right. Let's... Are you still got? Are you still going to? Yeah, I got. You want to see the crime quarantine scene? gloves? It'll if if it'll help figure out who did it. Then I'm for it. You see, you see him just give a grimace. All right, don't say I didn't warn you. Okay. He waves his hand, and, and another bright flash of light. Bay grips Jalaram's hand. Jalaram takes a deep, a deep breath and closes his eyes. Opens, opens them and exhales. You see your, you, you see your mother's house. Her corpse lies strewn ungracefully on the bed blood pouring onto the floor and stairs. There are dozens of lacerations and punctures across her body. Next to her, you see a cloaked figure. So that's the murderer? Yes. But again, a placeholder. I'm picturing, I a, yeah, I the pla no I'm picturing Nora the filling the placeholder and... Understood. Um, can I, uh, DM, may I roll a gather information check? Yes. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'll try to. Why not? I'm here. I'll get work on mm. it. It's gonna be entertaining. Okay. 24. So, Faith Thurin, you're looking around and you notice that the blood trail seems a bit weird. It, see it, see it seems oft like it's been altered. Enzio sees you looking at it, and he says, You have a good eye. But the... The yes. More... What do you say? The blood, the blood trails away from the bed. She was killed somewhere else, and then moved to this spot. Jalaram, you're looking over at Eleanor's body. The laceration stuff? Yes. It's... Gonna have to ask you to... Roll a fortitude save. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, question. Does the uh, what we call it? Um, courage. Effect? Oh yeah, the uh, the courage and also the um, the meal help anyway. It, it helps a little bit. Okay. Sixteen. You're able. It's like you're feeling like. Uh, you're a little shit. You're a little shaky because this is your mother and it's very hard for you to detach yourself from this but you and you are you are feeling like the beginnings of a panic attack but you're able to squash it <sighs> you, you look at it's like you're looking at her body and just moving it up and down 
as Enzio is like is allowing you. Mm-hmm. And you see that there was a precise oh, this... clean stab to the back of the neck and just the way dozens that... of lacerations uh... and punctures on her body. Mm-hmm. And you find that seems off to you. Um May I roll a search check? And now I'm picturing check. How deep Nora is, doing uh, well, this. Well, I assume the uh, killing blow was the neck. Yes. Uh, do sense, uh, sense motive. And I realize uh, I, sh- I should have been clued in that it was Sorn. Not really, that it was that it was not Sorn. I probably probably shouldn't have included in that it was Nora, but that it you're was look, not Sorn. You feel that you're because studying the when Sorn the, killed the Dishonored the neck, Raid. And it's very very the blow to the precise. neck while well, like, yes the reason they died they didn't kill precise. them they and died you're of looking starvation at all the cuts all over her body and they seem to be and dehydration eleanor died from the cut that they, they seem to be random so wait i see i see you so you noticed the same thing i did the killing blow was a clean stub to the back of the neck Instant death. Yeah. Professional. Trained. Precise. And then he hold and then he holds up her arm. Yet the dozens of wounds afterwards. Sloppy. Emotional. Violent. Whoever killed your mother had a vendetta. Had a vendetta. I'm just going through going through his mind. God, she must have had a she must have been and I don't life think life. that, like, as you know, Josh said he guessed his mother killer, and one of the people he said was Nora. And I don't think he said a wind. That voice uh, guessed can we, can we, a wind. Uh, if, did my, this. Uh, if I may persist, can we follow? Maybe he did. That, and were you able just, to follow the blood trail? But yes, whoever killed her cleaned up most of the blood. But this spell is working wonders. He, he waves his hand, and then you see, like, almost on rewind, how the murderer is dragging Eleanor out of bed, and then just pulling her out, and then cleaning up the cleaning up the blood. We should move downstairs. Dang it, Nora! Yes. So Faye um, grabs Dang on Jalra's arm, just to trying to give what little comfort she can. <laughs> I'm going back and forth between I'm, I'm these. Right. I'm glad I remembered them. <laughs> okay, so... You see... Yeah. Now, what seems off about this scene to you? Uh, help if I had some light. Uh, hey! Well, All right. do that too. Uh, yes. Yeah. Wow, that was a good roll. 25, okay. Go so, Faithurn and Jalaram, you're looking around, you see that the mur- it's a- you see that the murderer is standing over Eleanor- Eleanor's body, with that holding- a- holding a knife. And you're lo- you're looking around, and you actually smell something. You smell food. Wait a minute. Um, she was cooking. Or someone was cooking something. You're very close. There are two plates. No. Filled with prepared food. She had a guest over. Yet there was only one body. That suggests that she was killed by her guest. Someone she trusted enough to let into her home. Um, what, do, what is, what's the food? What's so, on the plate? So, which begs the question, because uh, the Nora did not the know is bread and meat. that this was Jalaram's mother. Very, hot. So, seems to be very the theory about together. disguising these are, as Jalaram. And if you look at this, he, pu- he pulls, the, portion, the, he pulls so, the portions together. Did Nora, this like, a portion meant for her. have, like, a bit of a long ploy because, like, of, like, the way her blood tasted? Like, like to where she, Eleanor yes, felt comfortable around her and then she came over and was like, oh, hey, can I have dinner? Indeed. And then... I'm... I'm now Jalam's going through his... Uh, going through his list of, like, 
friends, family that he that that he might have pieced mm. together. Um, I'm just I'm just drawing a I'm just drawing a blank. Who? who well, you had a, you and me both. Friends, family. Um, now here's where here's where it gets really strange. Being a vampire has been a great boon as an investigator. In certain circumstances, sometimes the body seasons its blood as you would a steak. For instance, aging adolescence I would describe as overseasoned. <laughs> Anyways, I tasted your mother's blood. I could not find any trace of fear or excitement. That means she was killed before she had time to be surprised. She was relaxed, completely unprepared, which for anyone who knew her was absolutely ridiculous. That woman became so paranoid after her bout with the slaver that she booby-trapped her own home. Took my head clean off when I tried to investigate the scene back then. Faye just kind of gives him a disturbed look at that. That's unpleasant. So, oh, don't worry. Oh, don't, oh, don't worry. It, it takes more than that to kill a vampire. That was step one. She missed two through ten. <laughs> I understood that reference. Two. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, so that would mean Gallarum kind of shimmies over. She must have had her back turned the knife indeed he moves that uh, he moves uh he, he moves the illusion so that the knife is just sticking straight into the back of her neck um what let me let me ask you enzio was it i'm legitimately what, what, trying was, not i'm assuming it was cry. just a dagger because there, there's because no way a long, because, a long sword would have been... Because that, I know it's Nora, I know picturing Nora doing these things, and I don't like that, but that it was that happened. Of the back of the it neck. happened. Oh, no. It was actually your mother's own kitchen knife. This is why she I have my that, penny. Yeah, he must have been... The person must have been... Really good with it, with a knife. But with a... With uh, but here's the here's the weird part. I tasted a different seasoning. One usually released during childbirth, nursing, or parental bonding. Whoever was with her when she died caused that seasoning to come out. So My invest. No. Yes. Which is why I'm wondering if Gal Nora is played a long game and got to know her to over like months head. before Actually, she did this to her. That one. Sure. All right. Twenty-seven. Hmm. Hmm. There's not a large. Li there's not a large list of suspects, but because your thought, it's like. If your father somehow came back to life, you're unsure of the motive he would have to kill his wife, and you're you don't know if he was experienced enough with a dagger, unless someone did, and uh, unless someone taught him. And as a and as a re and as being resurrected, that possibly as a zombie, that could pro that could very easily make him under someone's control. Or there. Or maybe there are fit or maybe there are other figures from your past. Yeah. It, down takes a pot. Like being able to that who what if it wasn't what if it wasn't a vendetta against her, but what if a vendetta against me? What if like I, like I wasn't, I wasn't around. Like, what if they? It was were, also eye for an eye. What if they? You were, killed her mom. She killed your mom. Enzio sighs. I did not rule out that possibility, but my investigations turned up nothing. 
she she had no new she had no new lovers suitors and no new children as far as I know when it comes to the wind breath line the wind I don't breath. know okay. of anything okay no not wind breath someone who yeah, really yeah. has a vendetta out for me yeah, see, so didn't even consider wind breath, so yeah, that's not not so. Because they inscribed the slur for half elf on a treasure chest. Bay's eyes widen. Surely you're not suggesting. You think? But that would still be ridiculous. That she she wouldn't relax. This would have to be someone that she knew. Yeah, but remember what... They could have been disguised. No. Uh, I saw him die with my own eyes. Wait a minute. <clears throat> You're not saying... We have... He, 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 he pulls back the hood and it looks like Imer. You're not seriously suggesting... People have been impersonating us. There is a good possibility. That he's still alive. No, there... It's not... No, Faye pulls the hood back over... No, back over the murderer and just... And just turns and walks... Uh, walks over to the far wall. Okay, better idea. Enzio. No, repl replay this... Replay the scene... But this time, the person who walks in is me. What if he, what if, what if the person who is, who was the, what if the person who came in disguised as myself? Well, what if, for example. He, stand, he stands back. All right. Let's see how this works. He waves his hand. The scene begins to rewind. But, like, Nora wouldn't have because she didn't and... know this was the mother of Jalaram Tanlio. She All thought right. it was the mother so, of. Let's see if, if I see this. Correctly. Someone named Gilrin who killed her mother. I'd imagine there'd be some embracing. But talking, it was the mother's killer. Just. The, ch the chairs were. But she didn't know out, it was. So they were his obviously on them for a bit. Mm. Then. Eleanor moves over to the table. Sneaks up behind. Sneaks up behind. If you're nervous about me touching the plate so much, he, he, he they say you're super dull. He, he like, had the kitchen knife. At, come. So Nothing. he moved up with her. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna cut myself on this. Trust me. Uh, try and sweep down the uh, stairs to get a better look. All right. So he grabbed the kitchen knife. He grabbed he. He must have. He must have. He must have divided the food in half. In that case, and then Eleanor turns and then stab the back. No. Yep. Then, then the the multiple wounds would have come in. Why did you have me do this, Shay? Why? As there is a lot of... Just like yes. more steam. Yes. Yet then you see, like, the figure of Jalum just continuously stabbing Eleanor afterwards. Nora, please, no! It still doesn't make sense for Iron Man. Oh. I will say, having this context makes me wait. makes this scene way more powerful no, than Who for me than, 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 than it was before. Because then it's like, before it was like, oh, yes, this is how Elmer. But now we're, but now, but now that I know who did it, I can see it actually happening. Wait a minute, Jalarm has a thought. No, 
But I know yeah. someone who really likes me. Yep. Yeah. I'm not suggesting. Nora. <gasps> mm. It's like no. Eleanor's death now feels NCS way more looks, real like, to me. I can tell reason. you right I now don't that, know. that is it's, not the case. You're wrong, you sure? Nzio. You're wrong. I believed Positive. you, and you you failed me, Nzio. Part of, part of the way that I can tell when some part of another boon for being a vampire is that I can tell when someone's lying. Heart rate increases. You ever notice that whenever you get he 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 quickly pinches your he quickly pinches your shoulder, Ow. surprised that you feel a certain jolt. Yeah, yeah. That happens every time someone lies. I asked her about that. Completely I asked. Calm. Uh, yes, completely calm. Well, that's good. But yeah. she's got that. I'm, I'm sorry, Penny. Uh, let me use I this one. She, but she's she, she has got killed? No that. One. I asked her Dang. myself. Ring. Well, but we're coming to us, that is. There are other possibilities that you're not I think I just... I just stabbed through the cover page of my, um, uh, the, the, copy of Legend of Korra Force. Anyone else that's Oops. really good with a blade. Nope. Not what some not. He have been, have been very good friends for years. He would know you well enough to pull off such an imitation. <laughs> and there's always the question of if he would even need to. Did Eleanor know him? Yeah, he had to have known him. She, sorry, she and had to have known him. And another thing that absolves Nora. I was very listening, very. Her heartbeat was very loud whenever she was speaking to you. There is nothing but pure admiration for you. Well, true, but that. that that's true, but it doesn't absolve her because she did it. She did it. So. She just. You are, part, you are in the exact same spot I was when the case ended. Well, not the exact one. Close enough. But the case went completely cold, and I could do nothing but move on. <laughs> what about... I really... What about the rest of the, the Dagger of Light Guild? What happened I just... to them? I want to check. I, I want to check back in with Nora. I'm sure she's that. going to re-enter the story at some point. But I want to check back in with her before she does. Like, I know I that we have to follow the player characters, but like, can we just jump over to Nora, just see what she's up to right now? While like, you know, Ryan's being turned into a drow and all that, and the party's in wrapped up in those things. Right. Can we just, can we just go catch up with Nora, please? I, I care about this little girl too much. <sighs> Gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Mm. Okay. All right. That's uh. That's that's the CSI gat list. Now let me go find. Oh my god. Let me go. Let me go find. Let's see what, what 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 was the time stamp I need to go to? Okay. It was after. Okay. Or right before. So. Go back to here. I'm gonna hit play.
Okay. Okay, all right, I think I'm about there, almost there. Okay, so now I'm here at where Nora talks with Jarvan about her past, and I want to see if there's like any just thing that just screams Valerie. Three, two, one. Come on, walk and talk to me. All right. All right. So, um, what happened? I suppose I need to start from the beginning, at least. My In order for you to get context, I have the typical edgy sob story. I'm My twice an orphan. orphan! Fancy that. Oh. My birth mother was a harlot. She cast me out because I was too inconvenient for her. You know, children tend to get in the way of life's ambitions, you know. At least she had the decency to put me up for adoption. That's the one thing she ever gave me. I hadn't, ever, I hadn't expected to ever find a loving home, but I did. And it was nice for a while until... My father volunteered for the militia and died defending Gatlas. My mother was killed. My brother joined Sabaton. Okay, she just said her mother was killed, so nothing. So, yeah. He truly believes that Sabaton is in the right. So, and so okay. he likes to call me emotional. Okay. And I can clearly see that both sides have. <sighs> yeah, I look, look, I get it. I, 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 comp I completely get it. Like, I, like, look at, like, for the longest time, like, I had. Trouble okay, I'm gonna go ahead and three, two, one, stop. Because I don't think she talks about her mother anymore right there. And yeah, all she said was kill. Okay, so. That makes me feel a little better because once that was revealed, I'm like, oh my gosh, there, there must. She probably was laying it on. She was probably giving so many hints during when she when explaining her. Right now, she just said my mother was killed. So, okay, so yeah, all right. <laughs>